Good morning. This is Shane from Shane's Reviews. Hang on. There, that's better. Note to editors, it's okay to leave that in. Good morning to you. Today, we're going to be talking about a book that you wonderful people brought up. Okay, it's called Jam, and it's wrote by... Yahtzee. I think it's Yahtzee. Somebody needs to put a bad dub over of the actual author's name and the narrator, please. If you like, do it in the voice of the goblins. Yeah. Okay, Santa. <clears throat> this book is Jam, written by Yahtzee Crosshall. He actually narrated as well. Pretty cool guy. Anyway, on a video that I recently recorded that's probably not been made yet, I went through and I looked at a bunch of the comments that was in the comment section because, well, uh-oh. The thing is, is you guys had mentioned checking this book out because I've read a couple of the other ones from this person and I can honestly say that I wasn't won over by the author in any way, shape, or form. Now, with that being said, I tried to approach the book in a way that would be non-biased, non-judgmental on my part, because, well, once I start to get to the point where I don't like an author, it's really hard for me to get through their stuff. Just putting that out there. So, what are my thoughts about this? Well, the narrator different style than what I typically go for, for sure. And kind of works for the book, but not my favorite narrator by any means. Hmm, so there's that. The recording quality is really good, and well, beyond that, that's about all I've got to say about it. There's not a huge amount of characters in this book. Uh, there's just a handful. The premise is, is, is that one day, some people wake up, and when they wake up, apparently there's a condiment that is covering the ground, and it's trying to eat everything. It's jam. It's jam. Jam. Literally, we eat jam, and now it's eating us. That's biological. And so the story just gets more and more outlandish from there. To the point of which there's a corporate shell identity that people are still trying to run and they've turned it into something like a safety net for people to come to but you've got to have references and all this kind of stuff and then there's a couple other factions like the plastic people etc Essentially, they found that if they wrap themselves in plastic, the stuff will kind of climb up you a little bit, but not eat you until you get a hole in your plastic wear, and then it'll eat you. It's not really an exciting book. There's a few things that happened in it that I was like, oh, okay, that's decent, but is it going to be a go-to for me? No. No, it's not. But it does have enjoyable points in it, so... It kind of gets to a tough spot whenever I talk about, you know, is it worth your time, efforts, and energies? It's goofy. It's got some silly stuff in it. The story, it's fairly well solid for a odd dystopian world where you wake up and there's a condiment that's strawberry scented trying to eat everything that's biological, period. So, alright, look, I gotta stop, I gotta break into the video, sorry, um, just gotta, because I'm suffering from ADD this morning, oh boy, so, the question of the week is, you wake up in a situation where there's jam everywhere, what do you do, do you just go get some crackers and eat it before it eats you, or eat it and let it eat you, hmm, hmm. That's an interesting one. And now back 
to your normally scheduled programming. <laughs> you can tell I've been using voice to text this morning, can't you? Period. <laughs> but I don't know. It wasn't an absolute horrible read or a horrible listen. I don't want to portray that whatsoever. I think maybe I'm in a spot where I'm a little aggravated with some of the things that have been going on with life and maybe that's bleeding through to my opinion of this book. So to be fair, I'll go back and I'll reread it and we'll see if I feel differently about it in a few months. And if I do, I'll make a video about it. But um, anyway, so the long of it all is simply this. Uh, is it worth your time, efforts, and energies? I think I've got it. Does anybody besides me remember those Sunday afternoon movies? It's not something that whenever they were on that you would that you would gravitate towards, but eventually during the course of the day, way back when, God, that makes me feel old saying that. But whenever I was younger and a kid, there'd be a point on a Sunday afternoon where I'd finally wind down and I'd see what was on TV and it'd be some some movie I would never watch and by TV I'm talking about air TV not cable TV you'd end up watching it because there wasn't anything else really and then you'd be surprised by it man that, that's kind of where I'm at I was kind of surprised by it because I mean it wasn't bad but it wasn't horrible it wasn't the greatest American novel experience or anything like that either but it did have that's the reason why I'm struggling it had portions of good sci-fi in it and that's the reason why I was able to get my way through the story uh, and of course the book is so short if I tell you much of anything it'll kind of give it away but it's almost like that uh, preposterous story that one-ups itself again and again how far can you go with that before that delivery mechanism gets old? Yeah? Because that's, that's kind of where this, this was, was things just continuously got more and more outlandish. And I don't know if it's because of the generation of the author or if he's trying to mimic the generation that's below me and the mindsets uh, of the people that are in it. Because people in my generation... <laughs> <laughs> mm. We're a lot different than the, the generation below us, and the same thing as with, as with the generation above us. The generation above us, they, they didn't have a whole lot of tech, so they did what they could. But, on the same token, tech started to be formed while I was a teenager and I've been playing with the stuff since I was a kid I built my own electrical stuff from the time I was six forward but anyway the generation that's below me I don't have anything bad to say about them but the mindsets are a lot different so where if I come across a problem I'll attack it head on I sometimes find that the other generation, and this is this is a strong suit, not a weak point. The generation that's below mine will talk it to death before they start to actually tackle the problem. Not a bad thing sometimes. It just goes to the point of there's multiple ways to get to the same point, and not every way or one specific way is the right way, right? So, I don't know if the author was trying to mimic that kind of a mentality that I've noticed in younger generations. Or, if he was just going for... Apathy? Or maybe entropy? For the character's situations? Could be. Either which way. But, the long of it is, is it worth your time, efforts, and energies? Perhaps. If you want to get something that's a little goofy and off-center, it might not be a bad read for you. One of my favorite things about it, of course, was the spider. Um, it was just, it was kind of weird some of the directions that the, the book decided to take and that the author decided to like go with. But anyway, so quick recap. Essentially, the story starts out, they wake up with 
stuff that's trying to eat them. It smells like strawberries. It's jam. There's a whole backstory of where did it come from, which actually kind of was, well, there's no kind of, it actually was answered in the book. And really odd interplay between the characters. Dialogue was actually fairly solid for the characters. I don't feel like the characters were untrue to themselves or anything like that. So that's a good happy thing. And I'm glad that you guys and gals had recommended to me. Yeah, actually I am because after the first two reads, there's no way I would have picked this up on my own. Not at all. But you guys told me to check it out, so I did. And it actually turned out to be a somewhat decent book and a decent read. Uh, as far as my personal stylings, though, my personal wants out of a book, uh, there really wasn't a whole lot of payout for me. I do, however, respect, instead of it going so far out there, like the other two books from Yahtzee did, it didn't go as far out as the other ones did. So that I appreciate because the story's actually somewhat within the realm of believable if you substitute jam for a virus or something like that. I don't know about the military scenes, but <laughs> yeah, it was what it was. It was it was a decent little read. I don't want to tear it completely apart and say it's crap because it's not. It's just somewhat not my cup of tea, but I am glad that I read it because who knows? Maybe someday that information will come in handy. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, thank you for the recommendation. It's much appreciated. And if you guys and gals have anything else that you want me to check out, please feel free to leave me some information down there in the information box. So, thank you so much for watching. I know it's kind of a shorter video than normal, but it's a smaller book, so I don't want to go on and, and dribble, 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 dribble about it. However, if you've made it this far, why don't you... Hmm, if you've made it this far, why don't you just take this video and shove it down your friend's throat. That's right, send it to them. And then, you know, that little subscribe button, do a tap dance on that thing. I mean, just if you've made it this far, please do. It won't hurt you, and it'll just help us. It'd be appreciated in a big way. And then, um, and of course, you know, if you have any comments, you know what to do down there in that thingy. The, not the description box. No, the comment box. Yes. And one last thing. You are my personal hero. Thank you for watching all the way through to the end. You're magnificent. You are a unicorn. I don't care what they said about you, that person right over there. They suck. You're awesome. So beyond that, I'm Shane with Shane's Reviews. This was a monstrosity of a video. <laughs> You're right, you, Shane. Mr. Editor, for doing your thing. Oh, yes. no problem. All right, get back in your box. Shout but, out back in oh, your box. There you I go. I thought I was Thank getting you. two treats this get week. Get to editing. Oh. Yes. I understand that you think you have a personal no just get back in your box there you go thank you you got your mouse in your hand okay good 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 now it's okay so I love your faces thank you so much for watching I don't know which one of these two videos over here you might check out but if you do hey I will see you in the next video peace